Dr. Robert Shapiro, a pediatrician at Children's Hospital, says kids experiencing trauma is connected to a host of mental illnesses and more. As well as physical outcomes, lung disease, heart disease, cancer rates even. And we know that the experiences that a child has during childhood really affects how their brains are developed. Dr. Shapiro says those impacts go far beyond just the individual child and their adult life. He says they impact the community as well. It goes to unemployment rates. It goes to incarceration rates. It goes to substance misuse and addiction problems, mental health. It goes to the level of financial and community supports adults in our community. It goes to community violence. Meanwhile, Wendy Ellis, who studies community resilience, says you can't miss the disparity in certain neighborhoods in Cincinnati. We can take a drive from West End to Clifton, and we'll notice the differences in access to resources, whether that's locally owned businesses, educational assets, even access to public transportation transportation. Ellis says it's critical for everyone to buy into the solution. Money from the city or county alone is not enough to reverse a problem that's decades in the making. I've talked about business investment. I've talked about infrastructure. I've talked about even educational assets. Those are hard assets in which we can invest in that we know are disproportionately not available to residents, say, in West End or in Riverside or Sedansville. Ellis says investing in the children and giving them the resources to prosper is investing in the future of the city. City. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.